Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike Stickers. Um, I wanted to show y'all something different today. So this is a little sticker book that I made a while back. And um, sorry if this is an awkward camera angle. This is my first time trying to do it like this. But um, this is a sticker book I made a while back. I was thinking about doing this um, as like a portfolio for some of my work so I can potentially show off to other businesses and try to get some business from them. I can go like door to door basically and just show them a sample of my work here. Um, I mean, how else are you gonna make a portfolio for stickers other than just with a sticker book? You know, so um, I got this real early on, right when I first started the business. And uh, when I was still touring around, I didn't even know if it was gonna be a real business. Anyway, so there's a rant. I found this just yesterday and I was looking through it and a ton of the stickers in it just look horrible. And so the deal is this is when I was trying to print with the Epson. Um, what am I trying to say? The uh, e uh, the eco fill or whatever the eco fill tanks. Um, where people sell ink that is supposedly eco solvent ink and then they um, convert these normal printers into eco solvent ink printers it doesn't really work it's not true eco solvent and I found that out so if y'all do see my videos before where I was trying that process out please disregard all that information um, because here's what happens and this is a classic example of why you want to use tr true Eco solvent ink, something like a Roland BN twenty A, something that is a true solvent based ink. Okay, so all these stickers in the front are good ones, no problems here. These are current ones that I've been making. All these are great. Um, these ones are all good, no problem at all. But the ones that are bad, I have some normal product labels and stuff. Those are fine. Those are off, off the Epson Colorworks. But then we get to right here. So this is pretty bad, guys. But this is, like I said, this is when I first started out. And like I said, I like to show you all the good and the bad and everything. So as you can tell it's all started to bleed pretty bad you know like I'm gonna try to maybe zoom in on one of these here so you can see but all the ink actually started to bleed pretty bad um, some of these don't look horrible but let me show you some of them are horrible but a lot of them are. Check out these QR codes. So you can definitely tell that they're not legible like they should be anymore. Sorry, I have the camera on a tripod on the table and it's awkward angle. But these ones you can't even read anymore. Um, I mean, you can't really, I mean, you can read them, but I mean, it looks really, really bad. You can see that the ink underneath the laminate has started to fade out. Same thing with this one with the fox. Um, I don't know how obvious this is going to be on camera, honestly, because looking through the viewfinder, it's kind of hard to tell. But, um... You can see how it's kind of like purple around the black. It's just, it's bad. Um, it starts to bleed outwards. You can see on these letters here, on the uh, don't tread on me, everything's kind of bleeding outwards. Come and take it, it's got the purple around the black where it's bleeding outwards. Some of these are okay because they were printed on like the uh, Epson label printer. But that doesn't have any problem with bleeding. But on the Epson Eco Fill or e you know whatever the Fill and Chill Eco Fill, 
it's not good. These were all made with that. Look, look at the California there. That one, like I said, I don't know how obvious it is in the in the photos, but it was pretty bad. And the star text, you can see the purple all around it. Um. Anyways, so yeah. So I don't know how obvious some of them are, but trust me, it is bad. You don't want to use the eco solvent, um, or sorry, you don't want to use the eco fill and try to convert it because it is a uh, it's not the way to go. Not the way to do it. So. Like this will probably still even scan, but it does not look good. Let me show you this other one. So it's not crisp. Like I said, around the black, it looks a little purple where the ink has started to fade out. It's not the high quality that I want. Not what I'm going for. I wish it was more obvious on camera so I could really show you. But like look at the uh, Texas and signs. It's got that ghost purple all around it. So I don't know if it picks up, but it's not the same, for example. Here's some good ones. They're all nice and crisp. No issues with the detail, no bleeding. These are all ones I've made for clients. They're not my own images, but except for that one there. But these ones come out good. There's no fading the color. There's nothing like that. They're all good. So, um, yep, just don't mess around with that cheap stuff. Bite the bullet, get a good printer so you don't end up with quality issues because you could end up fulfilling an order of hundreds hopefully not thousands of stickers where later on the ink is going to fade and it's going to look horrible and you don't want to end up like that so yep anyways y'all take it easy thanks for watching bye